Here are 63 things you may not know in Stardew Valley in only 8 minutes. Grab some snacks and enjoy. You can shake trees to get hazelnuts in fall. You can put tappers on a mushroom tree to produce mushrooms every few days. You can trap a single crop to cause your Junimos to be outside all day every day. You can enter the sewer in the town using this entrance. You can also enter the sewer using this entrance in the Cinder Snap Forest. Crobus sells iridium sprinklers every single Friday for 10,000 gold. That is cheap. Make sure to visit him every single Friday. If you forgot to collect the rewards at the community center, you can find this little bag with all of the loot so it isn't lost forever. If you crack open a geode and a prismatic shard pops out, immediately drop one into a geode crusher to get a second guaranteed prismatic shard. This is simple but important. Fiber seeds do not need to be watered and if you plant rice shoots next to a water source, they will auto water themselves. Eventually, you will have enough chrysalerums and iridium sprinklers. What do you do with the extra iridium ore? Sell it. Each bar will sell for an impressive 1,500 gold. If your inventory is full, you can drop an item on the first floor of the mines as long as you don't exit out of the game. Those items will be there waiting for you to collect them. Fish ponds can be different colors. Lava eels for red, slime jacks for green, super cucumbers for purple, and scorpion carp for deep purple. If you are low on cinder shards, you can use a diamond to get three random enchantments at the forge and it only costs 10 cinder shards. Between the 12th and 14th of summer, the ocean will be green and there will be many Many, many forageables here due to crab mating season. Deluxe fish tanks are incredible. Just look at how many things I can stuff in these. You can add three decorations, four bottom fish and four swimming fish. Fruit trees age with the years and will start to produce higher quality fruit. A fruit tree that is three years old will produce iridium quality fruit. Once you have married Leah, you can use her cottage to store things like kegs. The key to the town will allow you to buy things from shopkeepers at 6 a.m. and in Clint's case, even at 1 a.m in the morning. You need to use tree fertilizer when growing regular trees. These will tremendously speed up their growing time. Combining a hot java ring and a burglar ring will get you more coffee than you will ever know what to do with. Using a rain totem on a stormy day will cause the next day to be stormy as well. Do this constantly to swim in battery packs. Most of the festivals are not that fun but the annual potluck is important. Providing the best ingredient will increase your friendship with the entire town. Butterfly hutches can stack. Look at how many butterflies I have in my tiny little house. You will get tons of bone fragments from the dig site but aren't they useless? Well, not quite. Drop them into a bone mill to turn simple bones into valuable fertilizers. With crystallariums you can duplicate two quartz per day. Quartz can be traded for bombs at the desert trader, a very good alternative to the slingshot. Want to break up with your lover? Buy a bouquet, drop it into a furnace and get a wilted bouquet then give that to your now former lover. You can place gates next to each other to get a bigger, better gate. You can also place torches on fences. You will get one free magic rock candy at the museum. Use it if you didn't find many prismatic shards in the skull cavern. Reset and try again. Ostrich eggs will retain their quality and they create 10 mayo at a time. Abuse this. A single iridium egg can make you more than 5,000 gold. Infested floors suck. Oil of garlic will make it impossible to find an infested floor in the skull cavern. This can be a game changer. Sturdy rings are really easy to craft. Yes, they are useless but they do sell for 750 gold each quite reliable for early game money. You can get this monstrosity of a statue by placing a super cucumber into this hidden box. There's another crazy statue that you can obtain by placing duck mayo into this hidden box in the Stardrop Saloon. And yes, another one by placing a strange bun into this box in Vince's room. If you have friends in this game, you can click on their portrait to see a unique animation. If you ever see a full moon on the shipping screen, click it. Click it until the moon is mad at you. If you accidentally said no to your free pet from Marnie, you will never be able to get a pet on that save file. Fruit trees that are not fully matured are fragile. They can be destroyed with a single hit. Be careful out there. It is extremely easy to accidentally give someone a gift when you intend to simply greet them. Instead, greet them with an empty hand. Dragon teeth in the volcano can be destroyed with bombs and a slingshot. Those are rare. Avoid this mistake. Don't put legendary fish in your fridge if you cook something like sashimi 
the game will use your legendary fish, they will be gone forever. The mill and the well are absolutely worthless unless you are a decorator, don't even bother. Swords and hammers are both incredible but daggers, daggers are just kind of terrible. Unless you are a god gamer, don't waste your time. The type of profession will increase the sale price of syrups by 25%, it goes from worthless to worthless. The worm bin will produce a little bit of bait for you every single day. The worm bin is also really expensive to craft and will take years to pay for itself. Help wanted quests can give you a tiny bit of friendship but they will not make you any money. You know what they say, money talks, bullshit walks. Do you think the workbench is useless? Well you are just using it wrong, set it up like this to grab items from 6 chests at the same time. I get it, the beach farm can't have sprinklers but who cares, you will gain access to these crates that drop deluxe retaining soil making sprinklers obsolete. Fairy dust will literally make you less money right? Yes but it can reduce the time it takes to age wine in half allowing you to more rapidly produce the highest selling thing in the game. The pig is the only profitable animal in the game, the rest suck. No, the almighty goat can and will make you profit, produce gold quality cheese aged within one week and swim in money. The hopper will not allow true automation in Stardew Valley but it will make it considerably easier to deconstruct fishing tackle since they cannot stack like almost anything else. If you pick the female character you will get 500 gold in the mail, if you pick the male you will get some cookies, pick wisely. You will not lose items when you pass out at 2am in the mine so always mine until you pass out, those extra hours can make a big difference. Caroline will teach you how to craft tea tree saplings, these suck unless you don't use them and sell them instead for a very impressive 500 gold each. You can win first prize at the annual Stardew Valley Fair with only 9 iridium quality chubs, this makes life much less stressful. Remember that chopping down the trunk of a tree gives 12 experience while chopping down the stump only yields one experience, save your energy. You should place chests everywhere, your inventory is incredibly limited after all, just protect those chests with chairs like this. Running on a placed floor is ever so slightly faster than without, it really doesn't make a difference but now you know. Monster Mask will cause more enemies to spawn in the mines, this is not a curse, this is instead a miracle, more enemies means more loot after all. Be smart and fill up your basement like this, maximizing every single tile so that you can dramatically increase the amount of wine that you can age at a time. You can take a single milker from zero hearts to maximum hearts in a single day. Just get a milker, get a milk pail, attempt to milk the animal then use animation cancelling to stop the process. Do this the entire day to max out their friendship in no time. This is the most important tip on the internet, if you want to replace a gem inside of your chrysalium you first need to hit your chrysalium with an axe to reclaim the original gem. If you don't do this the gem will be lost forever it makes a difference especially if you are replacing diamonds for jades. Befriending Pam can be a very good idea as she can give you a battery pack in the mail. But what if you don't get a battery pack? Well just reset the day and check your mail again, keep doing this until you get exactly what you want. 63 things in a single video might be a little bit overwhelming but this next video only has 15 tips that you should abuse. Thanks for watching but for now I will see you in the next video.